Hello, this is part three about my Iron Man exoskeleton strapping system. Last time I made all of these plugs and sockets out of plastic, which are going to be used to mount the, the Iron Man armor, rigid armor pieces, onto the strapping system. So I've got hold of my uh, bolts, which are M3 bolts. I've got actually different sizes at the back here and some locking nuts. So as I mentioned last time, the magnet goes in the base here. The countersunk um, rare earth magnets with holes in them so basically that bolt goes right through and that will be bolted to the armour piece and this section is the same but it will be uh, mounted onto the strapping system so obviously the two fit together and they're quite strong magnets so they hold together quite well oh, there we go but while they are together, obviously being a plug and a socket, and they're tapered so they locate really easily, they can't uh, move sideways. So it's a bit like the catch that you get on some handbags, which are magnetic and basically work in the same way. So the next stage is to basically get all the pieces of armour and start um, cutting them about so they fit onto the exoskeleton. There's a couple of modifications to be made. So that's the next thing we need to do. So here's my original Iron Man torso, this is, well not the original, it's a plastic cast for the moulds that I showed you in a video some time ago. So it's a front and a back, these are the polyurethane cast versions. What I originally did was I had these um, pegs and sockets, although they don't hold it together very well. Let's just see, so see there's sockets there and the uh, corresponding piece has pegs in. But I'm actually going to take those out, of course, now, because I don't need them. And I'm also going to be modifying the back piece, so... Those are the shoulders, and then I had these side pieces, which, as you can see, aren't very good casts, and they're also quite thin and flexible. Um, but having these four pieces facing you when you try to put it on makes it quite hard to get this over your shoulders and under your arms. So I'm actually going to cut these pieces off at each side just leave the shoulders on there so basically the piece can easily hook on and then I'm gonna make new ones of these probably out of some sheet material that I'm just gonna form and those will also magnetically attach to the um, strapping system so I'm just gonna cut those off and then we'll start mounting this back piece onto the exoskeleton so those bits have gone I'll keep those as templates to make the new ones as you can see the uh, the back there fits the endoskeleton, uh, sorry, the exoskeleton in fact, because it's outside your body quite well, so it's quite a nice piece of armour now, it's quite compact without those wobbling wings on there, so we'll just put that back on there, should be quite easy to get on, I'm just going to put a couple of those magnetic catches in the back, there seems to be uh, probably space, let's just put the chest plate on. So for now those pegs are still there, but they'll go eventually. For now I'm just going to put that on. So there we go. So there's also um, plenty of space in the chest, as you can see, for an arc reactor replica and all the um, electronics and a battery and some other bits and pieces to power the whole suit. Okay, so this is as far as we've got today. I've installed two pegs there, one on each shoulder, and there's one on the back. So I've got the uh, back plate here where I've got one corresponding uh, socket. And I also put this strip of aluminium in which is blocked up on one end on some plastic blocks. It's actually glued on with hot glue at the moment, but I might put a screw in from each side to just hold that a bit better. Basically I was experimenting with the position where it's best to put that and that seems to be the best place. Obviously there's one in each shoulder, so all you have to do is locate those. And then the back one latches in there. So that's pretty good. And then obviously the front ones, there's two pegs on the front there. I'm 
the two corresponding pegs on the inside of the chest plate, again with a bit of aluminium to mount them so there they come on flat. And that just clips on there. I'm going to be installing um, some more pegs on that so that it's held on a bit better, but for now it's pretty good, you can jump up and down and it doesn't fall off. So I'm just going to put these pieces on now and we'll see what they look like. There we go, so those are the uh, obviously the back and front of the torso on. Seems fairly well spaced, there's lots of space inside there. So that just pulls off. See that one is held on just with a magnetic catch at the back. Um, as I said, I'm going to put another one, possibly two on this. But it uh, seems to hold pretty well, obviously upwards and downwards. And let's see what else have we got. That piece will fit in there, there's no catches on it yet, but there is a plate for it, as well as these plates to do the side panels which I cut off earlier. Also took off these um, pieces that join the front and back, so I'm going to be putting a piece of sheet material under each one which will be attached to the, end, the uh, exoskeleton. So let's just put the helmet on. All seems to fit quite well, so um, and obviously as I said in uh, one of the earlier episodes, if there's some emergency and someone wants to get the suit off quickly because it's on fire or something or there's a medical emergency, they can just literally pull the pieces off and that's it.